Hey guys, my name's David. On this episode, I want to talk to you about the key to starting your weight loss journey, or quite frankly, any journey that has a, a strong goal behind it. When it comes to planning a goal out, it's really imperative, especially, so we're talking weight loss. I personally have lost 100 pounds over my life here, and I put on about 20 pounds of muscle. This didn't come from just kind of going to the gym a little bit. You know, someone sending me a couple websites or men's magazine or, oh, here's the best abs, 30-second 30, 30 abs, and all this riffraff. It's, it's about having an absolute strong goal at the core of your soul that that you drive to with absolute relentless desire. That's essentially it. And what really empowers this is people when they're comfortable, they don't they don't strive to their goals. They're just like, ah, I'm kind of comfortable. And I've been there. I used to work at Microsoft. I had a nice cushy job. And um, yeah, I was nice and comfortable. And I remember sitting there one day, I was like, I'm too comfortable. I'm, I'm not learning at my job. Um, there's no growth for me at this job. And I, I don't know what to do. At that time, I, I actually, I went from being in excellent shape to being in horrible shape. And there's a few reasons for that. I had a torn back, just a, bad, a lot of bad influences with food and then just eating a lot of greasy food and kind of gaining a lot of weight. From there, I remember just, it was felt really hopeless and it's kind of a bad place because you're at a, you're, you're at a place where you're, you're really comfortable and then now you're uncomfortable, but it's, there's not enough pain. And when it comes down to it, for those of you who are watching this video who probably clicked on this, you're probably in a lot of pain and that's a good thing because you can use that pain and you surround your goal with it and you will drive harder to that goal than anyone else on this planet. For per personally for me, uh, just a, a few of my own examples, um, I've been laid off from a job, laid off. Um, my boss royally screwed up, threw me and a couple of my buddies under the bus. Um, he went on to get very rich. I've had friends, uh, good friends, throw me under the bus um, for promotions at work. Uh, I've had my own partner betray me. Um, I've had a lot of pain in my life. If you can take this pain because people often feel like, oh, it's this horrible thing you have to get through. I mean, it depends on the type of pain we're talking about here. But I mean, in general, you can take the pain of your life and make it something so empowering that you can drive so hard to your goal and actually achieve it. It's such a strong force if you learn to harness your pain and actually turn it into something fantastic and amazing in your life. And whenever I'm in pain, I have to go to the gym. Pull 135 pounds, added weight on my uh, on my pull-ups and then I recently did 140 pounds and I just keep using that pain to push forward to that goal. So for me personally, my goal is to help other people get their health back, to lose the weight because I dealt with uh, weight problems for years. Every day now I get healthier and fitter. I've never been as fit as I am today is the absolute healthiest I've ever been in my entire life and every day forward is continuing that trend and my blood, my blood test at the doctor um, Prove this too. My, my doctor is astonished when he saw my blood results. He said, I have the healthiest blood results he's ever seen in his career. And so this is not something to brag about. This is something that I can feel proud about. This is something I worked hard for. And you can do this too. I'm not special. I'm not born with no special gifts. I was not born with any talent in life. Um, a lot of people are, are given some gifts and they rely on them. I, the only gift I have is I'm relentless I, I, to chase my goals. I'm not someone who wants to sit on my butt and do nothing. And I've been there. I have sat on my butt. But there's always this nagging feeling like, get out there, man. Like, you need to do this. You can do this. If you don't have that, that's something else, maybe something deeper you need to work on. Because I really believe that we all have our, a true purpose in life and we all have that in us. It's just a matter of, of getting it out there. And sadly, a lot of the time, we need, we need some actual pain in our life, like serious pain. It's like the yin yang of life. If you don't have the pain, you can't truly feel the pleasure because you just don't know what you have until you lose it, that kind of thing. At this point, firstly, for me, I've had so much pain. I'm ready to have some serious, awesome times in my life. I feel like I've earned it. I feel like I deserve it. And that's that's how we should all feel. But in reality, life doesn't care if we feel like we've earned it or deserved it. Only the world and how the world reacts to us actually cares. Just like this morning when I started running, I'm, I'm out and like it's pitch black. And as I'm running down the road that's well lit, this, this guy slows down and he looks over at me like, what's this guy doing out here? Like, this is crazy. Why is he running at that time? It's because that is what re is required of me to achieve my goal and I will not let anything stop me. It took a few years of sitting around in my butt at a cubicle in Microsoft and the video game industry to really understand what I wanted. So maybe that's the first thing you need to do is figure out what you need, what you want. And after that, you just, just absolutely be relentless. Find that direction and uh, drive straight towards it. 
So hopefully this video inspires you to get out there and chase your goal and really put together the pieces to build that bridge to whatever it is you truly desire in this world that would make it mean the world to me if this even just gives you just the slightest bit of motivation to move towards that. So much respect, my friends. Until next one, have a good one.